Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Matt. Welcome to the Sinbin, the YouTube hockey podcast where we talk about everything hockey. I'm sorry if I look kind of red and sweaty. I just came back from running outside, but that's okay because we are talking about this guy, Akeem Aloui. Oh boy, the gift that keeps on giving. Did I mispronounce his name? I don't really care. In case you've been living under a rock, which I doubt you have, Akeem Aloui is the player that used to play for the Calgary Flames and that Bill Peters allegedly said a lot of racist terms, used the N-word against him, which is admittedly wrong, and he eventually got fired. That who Akeem Aloui is. Now, a few weeks ago, before <laughs> everything happened, I guess I would say, Akeem Aloui wrote a piece in the Players' Tribune. I think he called it something like hockey is not for everyone, and I made a video where I disagreed with it. Here's the video. I called it racism in hockey. Why I disagree with Akeem Aloui. Now, you might realize by the likes to dislikes ratio, a lot of people don't share the same opinion as me. In fact, I got only 7 likes and 21 dislikes. Now, I'm not a big fan of the dislike button. I don't think it should ever be abolished or anything like that, but I'm not a big fan of it because I think some people misuse it. I think some people, if they see someone talking and they disagree with him, they'll automatically press the dislike button. When in reality, gang, it's normal to have disagreements, okay? For example, the guy next to me might not like rotisserie chicken. I might like rotisserie chicken. Do I dislike that guy? No. As human beings, we're unique. We don't all have the same tastes. And in this video, I wanted to say why I disagreed with Hakeem Aloui. I don't think I was disrespectful. I don't think I called him any names. Uh, I don't think I was inflammatory. I don't think I was insulting. So when I see all of those dislikes, those are people that I find disagree with me and they refuse to say why. And like the cowards they are, they just press the dislike buttons. I say at the end of all of my videos, I encourage discourse. I encourage conversation. Just tell me in the comments and we can have a good conversation. Speaking of the comments, there was a few comments. Like, Kumban. Am I saying that correctly? Well, he says, it would be great if you say his last name right. This is the problem with hockey in a nutshell. You heard it, folks. The problem with hockey in a nutshell is this guy in a cold basement mispronouncing names. That's the problem with hockey in a nutshell. Forget all the injuries, forget the concussions, uh, forget people losing their memories after re they retire. I am the worst thing about hockey in a nutshell. Wow. Kamban, you sound like a very intelligent human being. Here we got Sofa King. He says, but have you ever experienced racism against you in the workplace or anywhere? When I see things from Akeem's perspective, I can relate. Now, that again, Sofa King, which is admittedly a cool name, you're sort of assuming things about me that you don't really know. You know, I am not black. I'll never be able to say I am black, obviously. But I will tell you, I am from Arabic descent. And while on paper, I can't say that I'm an Arabic race because Arabic isn't a race, it's an ethnicity, I have been different from everyone else when I've grown up. I have been bullied at school. Perhaps I've been bullied because I had hair on my face and everyone else didn't. Perhaps I was bullied because I couldn't really speak French well. Was it racism? No, but it was a form of discrimination. I will say, I've never had any of the atrocities that Akima Louis had in his, uh, that he described in his Players' Tribune. And I've said it, those atrocities are very bad. I said, I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. But where I disagreed with Aloui is that I think that you can't say that everything bad that happens to a black person is automatically racist. You have to know for a fact that he is doing it because he dislikes your skin color. Not every atrocity that happens to you because you're a black man is automatically racist. Because it rains on you, does that make the rain racist? No, I don't think so. And in my opinion, being very scientifically minded, okay, I have a career in science, I'm the type of person to look at evidence. I'm not the type of person to blindly throw out wild statements like the NHL is racist, such as what Akima louis has been doing. And for that reason, I disagreed with him. Again, if you guys think I'm wrong in any which way, please tell me why. Please be disrespectful. Don't just press the dislike button like the coward and then just go away. I want to know why. Anyway, 
Well, that was sort of a recap of my other video. If you guys haven't seen it, please make sure to check out the description. I'll put out a link for it. Well, it seems like we've gotten some new developments on this story, okay? Let me pull up the article. These developments come from Akeem Aloui's former coach. This former coach's name is Kios. Am I pronouncing that correctly? Kamban? First of all, like I said, <laughs> little side story here. Like I said, I'm Arabic. I have some Arabic family members till this day that I don't know how to pronounce their names. They usually don't really care. I mean, for my past video, sure, I didn't know how to pronounce his name, but the message stands. Anyway, that was just a little parenthesis here. Let's go back to the article. So this man, Vladimir Kios, was Akeem Aloui's former coach. It was his most recent coach that he played for in 2019 while he was in the Czech League. In case you guys were wondering, that was for the team Litonov HC, where in six games, he had one goal, two points for a total of three points. One goal, two assists, that is. All right, back to the article itself. It seems like Vladimir Hios had some choice words to say about Akeem Aloui. Here it is. He says, quote, what was it like with him? In the first place, we were looking for a player to strengthen our staff, admitted Kios as per Hakij. But everything was particularly dismantled. So we got that name, we saw some footage from his game, and we liked it. Unfortunately, his character was not very good. That's the problem why he changed so many different clubs, and he wasn't satisfied with any of them. When I read those articles, it's everywhere that they didn't like him, but nowhere does it solve why they didn't like him. It's a little dismantled, but obviously English is in his first language, and I guess the translation is a little bit off. But that's a very good point by Kios, who I will let you guys know, he's never played an NHL game, but he was drafted in the seventh round by the North Stars. So he kind of has that in common with Akeem Aloui. They've both been drafted by an NHL team. But that was a good point that I never really pointed out in my video. Like I said, I disagree with the wild statement of saying that the whole NHL is racist and that a culture as a whole needs to change just because things didn't work out in your favor. But when you look at it with Akeem Aloui, things didn't work out in the NHL. Things didn't work out in the AHL. Things didn't work out in the ECHL. And now it looks like things didn't work out in the Czech League. I mean, are all of those leagues racist? Do all of those leagues have an agenda against you? Did they all come together and conspire? Hey guys, let's go against this Akima Louis kid. He has a punchable face. I don't know. I I'm willing to say no as a matter of fact. I mean, let's just look at his stats. He's bounced around in the AHL, like I said, in the ECHL. L let's see, for example, this year with the Bakersfield Con Connors, ECHL, 15 games, nine points. It's okay. But for a guy who I think viewed himself as the next best thing, I mean, he should be destroying the ECHL at the very least. Are all of those leagues racist? I don't, I don't think so. Again, that's just my opinion. Let me know why I'm wrong. Why don't we continue with the statements of the coach? God, I'm sweating. Uh, when I read those articles, they didn't like him, but nowhere does it solve why they didn't like him. I have already, already experienced more players to whom I showed something in the video and they did not take it. They were able to tell me that this and the situation was to blame, but not themselves. Alou was like that too. Again, sort of alluding to what, alluding, get it? To what I was saying in my past video, you have to take ownership. I feel that one of the hardest things for human beings is to look at ourselves in the mirror and say, this didn't work out. Maybe it was because of me. Maybe I didn't work hard enough. Maybe I didn't train hard enough. Maybe whatever reason it may be, that's one of the hardest things for human beings, taking ownership. It is much more easier to say, I failed because of everyone else. Everyone else was against me. The league was against me. And I think that's sort of what Akeem Aloui did. And according to this coach, Kios or Kios or whatever he's called, he has a similar opinion to mine. All right, moving on. Um, Aloui was like that too. That he scored a goal was nice, but then maybe he caused two. Just like in the match with Trinic. We had him well played out, but then he made gross individual mistakes. The tactics didn't tell him much. So now we learn a little bit about Alou's on-ice play, which I didn't know much about. 
according to this coach, he was able to make one or two nice plays, but for every nice goal he scored, he caused two goals. So is that because of racism that you allowed those goals? No, those are faults in your plays. It has nothing to do with racism. Look, I'm not denying racism. Like I said in my previous video, racism is around us. It's like the force. It will always exist. It surrounds us. But to claim that an institution itself is racist, to throw out a wild statement like the NHL as a whole is against me and that things need to change and that the culture needs to change, I think that is highly inflammatory. I think that is highly anecdotal. I think that is based on personal experiences and there is no evidence to back that up at all. In fact, I gave evidence why it's the contrary. I spoke how there are several black NHL players that have not only succeeded in the NHL, they've thrived. Like I said, P.K. Subban was hailed as a king in Montreal, but I thought the NHL was racist. No, when I look at Akima Louie, this is the example of someone who is never, never able to take ownership. And when you aren't able to take ownership, when you blame everyone for your troubles, more likely than not, you will not succeed. So we went from the AHL to the ECHL to the Swedish League to, uh, to, the, to the Czech League. Where's he going to play next? My backyard? I'll probably be able to beat him there. Wow. It didn't stop there for the coach. He goes on. Yeah, self-reflection and modesty. Everything was wrong except me. That was his mentality. It is then difficult to work with this type of player. In addition, teammates in the cabin also know this which then also causes problems. Given the way that Aloui bounced around from team to team and even from league to league during his career, it seems fair to suggest that there may be something to Kios' comments here. But again, no doubt there is another side to the story as well. Wow. I mean, I feel the hate coming, okay? So I feel this is a necessity to repeat at the end of all of my videos. We disagree as human beings. It doesn't mean I dislike you, okay? I like all of my viewers. If you clicked on my video, hey, I like you. You put money in my pocket. Just kidding, I'm not monetized, obviously. But I like you guys, even if your opinion is different from mine. You may think that everything I say is malarkey. <laughs> what a word, malarkey. You may think everything I say is wrong, but that doesn't mean I dislike you, and that doesn't mean you should dislike me, nor should you dislike this video. I want you to respectfully say why you disagree with me. Because like I said, in my past video, I did a lot of research. I mean, some guy, what's his name, Sun Rian, called me uneducated. That's not really true. In fact, I reckon I'm much more educated than you. It's just that I did a lot of research for that video. And if you have a disagreement, don't call me uneducated. Who's the guy that said it? Who? Sun Ray. Hey man, you're coming from a good place, but you sound very interesting. Anyway, if you want a good comment, look at Terry. Terry's the best. I love Terry. Anyway, I've been going on for way too long. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, there's going to be disagreements. If you do, tell me why. And make sure, like this video, subscribe to the Sin Bin. I hope you guys are staying safe. Like I said, I really love all of yous. Okay, and I really wish the best for all of you. And I hope you guys think the same as me, because my name is Matt. Keep your stick on the ice.